Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Nath. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the Intel uh, Gigabit drivers. So, this is going to be for anyone that accidentally uninstalled or over updated with third party softwares. Uh, drivers that like your network drivers and now they're just broken you don't have internet connection and you're probably searching this on your phone first you're going to need is uh, obviously ethernet and then this, the other thing you're going to need is an external wi-fi adapter so like a usb wi-fi adapter if you don't have one uh, then i don't know what to tell you you can either go on another device and download the software and then and then transfer it over via usb um but we're going to go ahead and check what kind of what kind of network stuff do we have so first off we're going to go to device manager and then we're going to go to network drivers and adapters and you can see here this is what i have intel i211 gigabit network connection this is this is what i have this is like my the connection that's built into my motherboard so now that we're done with this because we've seen what we have, uh, we're just gonna go into Google and I'll leave this link down in the description below for anyone that is lazy or something like that. And basically all I searched for was Intel i211 gigabit drivers. And this is what I got. The first thing at the top, and it goes in, it goes into this. And all we want to do and all we care about is the first link. So um Intel Ethernet Adapter Complete Driver Pack. This is what I installed, so all I did was click view and then download. And then once I finish the download, so once we go to the downloads folder, um the install is about a is about 1.5 gigabytes. So yeah, once we're in here, I recommend actually making a file, moving the zip file into that file, and then extracting it in here because there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, all we care about is the auto run. We're going to go in here and then we're going to go to auto run. You double click on auto run and literally this thing will pop up. Now in this window, you just want to hit install driver and software. There's a whole terms and conditions. Just accept everything. Uh, a lot of it is just talking about how do you should not redistribute this. I don't understand why anyone would want to redistribute Wi-Fi drivers, but sure. Uh, so yeah, Intel driver and software. And so you install it and then you will be greeted with this. And so once you are greeted with this, all you're going to want to do is look on the top left and you want to make sure that your adapter and your, where you plug your ethernet, it's actually vis visible here. And if it's not visible, you could refresh it and pray that it's going to be visible sooner or later. Uh, you can also do diagnostic stuff, like you could test your cable, you could do a connection test as well, but yeah, you can, you can do all this stuff in this area, and pretty much once you've installed this software, like as soon as you see it in the top left, your connection should start working instantly. So once you've done this, you should be able to see your, um, your ethernet thing on the top, on the top over here, it'll be right above the Wi-Fi. So if, even if I go ahead and unplug the Wi-Fi and Windows tells me that my thing is going to expire soon. Um, yeah, there you go. I should be connected to my Ethernet and everything should be working just fine. If, if you were like me and you uninstalled your drivers and then reinstalled them and did all this crap, you, your stuff here in the adapter settings might have been reset all to default. So that is something that you should take a look at and if you have specific settings go ahead and set them but if you're a normal joe and you don't have specific settings well then you're good to go you can literally close this and everything in here you could probably even delete this file and uninstall the drivers uh, if you want to or you could just leave it honestly it's really up to you but other than that that's going to do it for this video thank you so much for watching my name is Dave, and i will catch you in the next one peace Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.